This is PC Gamer Radio. Let me introduce you to today's host, Lipstick Patty. He's going to be taking you through his WTF is Snow Runner. Now, on the notes here, it says get your tea and biscuits ready as he's going to be taking you through this experience. And it's not going to be a short one as this game takes a lot to explain its nuances. So, Lipstick Patty, take it away. Well, welcome to Snow Runner. Now, this game, as you can see at the top right, I'm ranked 22 as a driver. I'm just over two and a, a quarter of a million banked up. And I'm currently playing on an Xbox controller. And we're going to go into the game and tell you why this is something special. Now, this is just sitting on my HDD, and there's no reason to put it on your SSD because, you know, once it loads into the region. Your gold and um, currently holding something here. This is my favorite truck, by the way, um, for the American region. And if I go to the world map here, there's a couple of tasks here. This guy wants to do a trailer delivery. And um, it's just been picked up here, and so I need to deliver this. This is what it's kind of like. Pick up and deliver is part of the game here, but you're going to see the difficulty. Now, you need to... I prefer planning my route out because I'm an old man. Am I old? No, I'm 40. But... Like an old man, this game requires patience, and this is a quite a way to go. So you've got to strategically think about your route, and um, this is kind of why it's nice and slow-paced. I'd say it's like a thinking man's game, SnowRunner. There's no... I think I might be able to push it through, though. It's a bit of a risk, but once you know kind of the geography... Of the map, it gets a little bit easier to, to go through it. And if you're coming up to a turn, you want to put kind of um, a lot of markers here to slow yourself down. Prepare yourself because you're pulling a big thing. All right, there we go. Now, this truck here, this is the BM25. It's a off-road truck, so it's suitable certainly for... Um, what I'm doing. Let's put the um, four-wheel drive on and start this up. Oh my god. Oh, we've got to go slow over this terrain, peeps. As there's high banks here. This is the final mission, though, in Alaska. I've done everything here. And, oh, 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 oh. Mm. Whoa, take it easy, mister. Go wide. Oh, it's a tree. That'll be a tree. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have not gone into Russia at all. I, this is my, my final mission before I go into Russia, so I'm, I'm fairly... You know, this is potentially... Many, many hours have gone into this game. There we go, we're going to ease it through now. Here we go, so happy days. Now, Snowman is a beautiful game, it really is. And there's something cathartic about playing it, really relaxing. And um, look into your corners, peeps, if, you, if you're driving. I love the fact you get a mirror so you can kind of look at to see what's going on behind you. <gasps> Got to be careful with this truck. It has quite a fast engine and the road here is desperately bad. <laughs> There's some comedy going on here. Oh my god, this Xbox controller, you see. I've not got a steering wheel, it's left. My steering wheel is in Ireland along with my hot ass setup. It suddenly could not make the trip to Mexico when I moved here. Ooh. 
Now you've really got to think, you can't just flatline it here. You're kind of always going at around medium pace and you're not putting the foot to the pedal at all with these trucks much. And the physics in the game require you to, take, to respect these roads. Um, obviously there's quite a lot of snow here. And the road is fairly muddy. Now the, the game does have a lot of mod support and um, some of the mod support, if you look at the bottom right, my gears, I'm currently powering this up to maximum gear, coming up this hill, and you'll notice five gears, well these trucks should have gazillion gears, right? Well, it's not fully simulated, I'm just using my winch to pull me out of this because it's rough snow. Now, one of the tricks I've learned with the winch is just get the winch here, but instead of putting the winch on the f well, can the front get that one over there, basically? Yes, it can, so we're all good. That'll get us out of this much easier. Camera-wise, you've got to be moving it around all the time, the camera. <laughs> because you're kind of paranoid about what you're doing. Now this here, the reason these are up here is because I repaired this. And when you play SnowRunner, you are coming to a broken land that's had an environmental problem. Michigan is heavy flooding. Alaska is heavy snow. See, I should have put more corners on there, but we're going to go across an ice lake. I don't think it's going to crack. Beautiful texture work in this game for everything. And um, fully licensed trucks to really get your, um, you know, truck pawn. Oh, yeah, I love this truck. I'll go into the shop once I've finished this mission, but I just kind of... Oh, it's very... <laughs> this truck's very agile. And you get kind of used to using certain trucks. Why it's, oh, why it's reason... Right, I'm going inside. You get used to certain trucks because they, they each have a different feel and some of them perform better than others. This is, this is why my favourite, because it's kind of a good all-rounder. You can hear that. I love the bottom left, the fuel here. Like, this thing's doing 12 litres a minute. So if you fill up your car tank, let's say you put 75 litres in, that's just going to give you seven minutes in this truck. <laughs> How expensive are these trucks to run? Gives you a little bit of respect of the haulage companies. Oh, dear. Look at this. Oh. Peeps. It's because this trailer is a high trailer, it's causing problems for me. This is the route to get in. It's desperate route. So you, I might have well have gone the other way around, but you might, if you go the other way around, you get hit as well. I mean, you're in disaster area. We need to go through this. Get the winch. Pull me out of the snow because it's, it's like muddy and wet around here. So you're kind of skating on it. You can feather it a little bit on the controller, which I'm doing now, um, which is not giving it maximum throttle. So you're kind of easing it through is what it wants to do. <gasps> Look at that almost 45 degree truck there. That is desperate. I'm very paranoid of this thing falling over. Right, I've got, I've got 
concentrate you. Right, let's get a winch and make sure if I slide down the hill, I've at least got a bit of security. Oh, come on. Now, what I'm showing you here is a microcosm of the difficulties you're going to have in the game. It really is. This little hill is, is trouble. Are you kidding me? This game throws so much at you. This is, uh, this is like you're still in school going up this hill. Should really put the handbrake on there. Imagine if that rolled backwards. Um, well, apparently in this box they have got the family treasure, so... And uh, if you're living out in Alaska, you've just got to think about what the Amazon driver's got to deliver to your house, man. This area is dreadful. Right, so I'm going to be turning in here. want to kind of give it wide. Now, SnowRunner has a very exciting season pass, and the first of the season pass has just been released, so... This song, I don't think I've heard it before. But it's playing. <laughs> Come on. In it goes. Man, you're a godsend, man. I know it might sound sentimental, but a lot of this stuff is really important to him, even if it's just furniture. They could have spiced that up by saying, it's got my hot ass in it, it's got my steering wheel and pedals that cost oodles of money and it's stuck in Ireland. And the postage, I might as well rebuy it again. Here it is. The agility when you take stuff off in these trucks is phenomenal. This thing can break 70 mile an hour on a road. It's um, a little bit of a hottie, but what I'm gonna do is, oh, hey up, hey up. I am going to recover it, and this just puts it back into the garage, nice and easy. Here she is. Now, the Royal BM here, I just want to show you its customization. These customizations, you're kind of unlocking them as you're traveling around the map, which is nice. This engine here is the very fast engine for this. It really does it make it for phenomenal when you put this engine on it. Now you can get like the difference between these when you go through, but I've got best in case here. Raised took so long to unlock for this car, the little secret that was hidden to get raised on it. Raised is gonna help you a lot. Especially if it's an off-road vehicle. You really do want that. And with it being Alaska, I've got chains on because otherwise you're screwed in Alaska. Don't come here without chains unlocked. And the bigger the tire, the bigger the footprint, the bigger the the um, the grip. Winch as well, you're gonna want the advanced medium in Alaska. Very tough. It, it, you're gonna need best in class when you come here. And um, now you're going to be changing the saddles and all this stuff. You're mainly going to go saddle high, saddle low um, to pick up stuff that you're moving around. And this snorkel here helps you go through rivers. I mean, I even saw a car. I'm going to show you this car. I actually want to truck store it. Hang on, how do I put it in my... It's the only one in the garage, so let me just retain it. There we go. X in my truck storage, then. I've got this. I actually saw one of these the other day. Let's have a look at this truck. It was just like my truck in SnowRunner on the road. It was so exciting. And um, this snorkel, you can just see it um, on the on the right there the snorkel it had a snorkel on it it was a can 39 marshall with the snorkel on the right because here in the city it can, when it rains it, it bloody well pours and the streets fill up and it does 
you know, you, you could potentially need a snorkel to get through the high waters. Anyway, this is something you, you get with the DLC and um, it falls all over the place it is. It's not fantastic. I'll tell you that much. It is okay for scouting. No. Do, 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 do. Now, when you come to a map, you know, these maps are all done. When you come to a map, it's a really new experience and you're going to be, I'm going to talk you through that as we go to a new region. So let's retain this in. Retain it just means you're putting it on the plane. Now, Michigan is a really lovely place to do. When you go Black River, it's a nice tutorial area to do things. And you'll see there's a regional progress on the left there to do stuff, which is to construct things and all that good stuff. You're kind of like a hero going in fixing the world. When you come to the dam, it starts to get a little bit more difficult. And when you come to the Drummond Island, it's in, you can't even get in there. You have to go via Island Lake. Now, Island Lake is terrible when you go there, and there's no petrol stations there, and these things run out of petrol easy. So you've got to think about creating your own petrol lines by getting petrol trucks there and um, making your own service stations, in effect. So Now, in Island Lake, there are petrol, station, petrol tanks there, so you, you just got to position them on the road so when you're driving through, you can just quickly stop off and refill and then keep going. So you've got to strategically think about it. These areas here are very big. You can see Drummond Island here has no cargo in Drummond Island. You've got to cart it all through there. And a lot of the cargo um, into Drummond Island is coming from the dam area. But if you try to go to the dam to Drummond Island, because it's a group of islands, the, all the bridges are out and it's really difficult to do it. So. Um, Deep strategy is what's going on. Now, Alaska is an absolute ball lake if you come here. You really do need to upgrade your engine tires. But if you've got that um, unlock of the little car, you can come here and scout the map out at the very least. And that's where you'll find the BM25, which is like the best truck for Michigan and Alaska. But when you travel to Russia, and you'll notice Russia now has four areas because of the ex the season pass has come here and we've also got now the Colo Peninsula which is um, something a little bit high end but two Russian maps now and um, I think that the Rift is the new addition to it so th the season pass though it's going to offer uh, more maps I can expect this peninsula to get bigger here and um, they are going to add in Canada and the last part of the season pass is going to expand the game it just says expansion we don't have no idea what that is but with the game opening up it's really good because when you start off in Michigan you are like a nobody and as you start to do jobs you start getting more opportunities to do stuff because as you get reputation up in an area, more people ask for your help. That's how it works. So let's go to Russia. And uh, it actually doesn't look snowy here in Drone Land. So it's a bit like the beginning of Michigan. Now, you, as you can see here, there's radio towers to scout out the area. And they are 100% necessary to scout out. Right. Yes, I do want to go to the so move to the garage. All right. So your first thing you need to do is scout out. And when you go out there with your scout, you can make notes because you need to note down what needs what. When you go to a bridge, you need to write down what material it needs to finish that bridge. You also need to know the dangers of certain roads. Some roads might look okay on the map, but they're completely waterlogged and there's no way you can push trucks through there. Um, now, obviously in Russia, I don't have any trucks to store, but I can take the marshal out because it's DLC. So, I, can you bring the Royal BM-17 to Russia? Really? I thought you couldn't bring this to Russia. Where am I? 
I have. I've brought my truck to Russia. <laughs> Go back in the garage, you. Recover. Okay, well, the Russian shop has opened up. Now, these highway trucks, I have no use of these whatsoever. You've got no highway manoeuvring going on. I don't know why they're there. Heavy duty, you might be pushing something that's heavy, but really the off-road's doing everything. <clears throat> the actual heavy classes, they can, like you might need to recover, for example, this big caterpillar um, or this dairy long haul. You might need to recover these and no truck's gonna be able to tow these unless it's one of these big boys. So that's why you need to have the heavy class. off road your bread and butter but look at these trucks they're all super cheap and these are to unlock it says look you can't buy the truck in russia well i've brought mine over it looks like over the pacific and it's very expensive this truck the bm17 some new scout classes here and there's this interesting one here, the Yar. So, ooh, that is a DLC F750. Well, this is that's new. <laughs> All right, this Yar. It's let's buy it anyway. We're going to be in Russia. We might as well buy it. Ooh. Now let's go on the customization. The engines are all locked. <laughs> right, we need speed, so we'll go for freeway engine. Lovely. Stock suspension, tires. I'll put mud tires on, and we're going to go for the bigger trim. Needs the advanced winch. Roof rack so you can repair it, and um, you're gonna need a water snorkel on it. In here, you can change visuals if you want. I 100% want that roof rack. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna put lights on it. Forget it. And this stuff will kind of help. Red's fine, let's take it out for a run. And I'll talk a little bit more about the game, so. Now, night time, you can skip time to morning, which is my preference, so let's skip time. Uh, morning, please. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing here? Skip time. I want skip time. Yes. Look, it's as quick as that. It really is that quick. Let's take her out. Ooh, it's a little cabin in there. Ooh, look at that in the back. Let's put the... Uh It's so slow. Look at this. Oh, it's got six tires on it, for goodness sake. All right. We're taking it back in. Well, <laughs> I'm going to bring the car now because I'll show you the difference. Oh, not repair. Recover. Let me just show you the beast that is the Marshal. This has got the fast engine on it, which means it's completely lethal to use. And if you don't hit the road properly. You can roll it. It's so easy to roll it. Right. Now you'll notice this 
this line here is a little bit fatter and a bit lighter in color. This is considered a main road. As you can see, there's a little bit of water here. So we'll go on the main road For example, taking a truck with cargo down this one is going, it's not going to happen is what I'm trying to say. You need to keep on these bigger roads and um... now there is a reason to go down these off roads. There are secrets in the game to unlock stuff. But knowing I can just bring my trucks over from the USA. I'm less inclined to go searching stuff. No, I... Um, I pick up these tasks as you start exploring it, and really, one part of the game is the exploration of it. Ooh, there's some petrol there. Right, this fog's annoying me now. I am exploring, so I want afternoon. That's the road. Now this thing eats mud for breakfast and you can you can absolutely floor it in the mud this one with the high engine on it. But it is got so much power to weight ratio <laughs> that it can roll itself, so don't flatline this too much. It's a bit you need to learn how to drive this beast when you put that top engine on it. And if you don't have the top engine on it, it cripples the vehicle. It really does. All right, very good. Now, so what Mud Runner is then, you are gonna be scouting out the areas. You're going, like I'm doing now, finding out the roads. I'm actually going to be uncovering the map. This is the road. This is not the main road. What's going on? Well, of course, this is why you're here is because... Oh, this is why you're here is because it's... It's something has happened here. And of course, the roads have all been destroyed. Oh, that's slippy. Power! <gasps> There's no way I'm bringing trucks down this road, so this is good scouting. <laughs> well, if you do bring a truck down here, you're going to be going very, very slow across this. And uh, maybe my BM25 might be able to manage it, but at the minute it's looking a bit too narrow for a big truck to come through. So you, you kind of need to kind of get the lay of the land. Oh. Now every road has its own character. You can see you, every little bit you come to, you need to look at it. And it's been well designed, so it's a challenge to drive through the environment. The game here, though, is repairing the, the place, so you're bringing it back online for people to move back into the region because they've all, I, they've all escaped because the whole area has become inaccessible. You're kind of the first people in there trying to fix things up, and first thing is to scout around. Oh, come on. Come on. Now, I know this scout is DLC, you get it with a season pass, but the other stuff is just far too slow. This one is a beast to get around. It's so much faster, more agile. Um, although, it can turn over. <laughs> it can roll over. So, your mileage may vary, and it only has a 40 litre in the tank. So, you can only do so much scouting with it. Let's have a look at my repair. Yeah, my roof rack does give me 80 litres, so that is a massive necessary thing to put on there because it's giving me 
you know, over... T I can go three times more with that roof rack, aren't I? All right. Um, the, the missions you get in the game, some of them are just pick up A to B. Some of them are, you've got to pick up things from A, B and C and take them to D. And sometimes you're continually going down the same path, so the map... Look at this road. Get it. Is this what I'm supposed to be going down? Yeah, you can see it's not white. It's, it's orange, so this is not a main road. This is the grey road here which is the the road, but... Um, so I've gone off PC. I'm trying to get this thing, is what I'm trying to do. Uh, so we'll continue on then. Yeah, something, something you're picking up from A, B, C to take it to D. But if I go to the map and I go to the missions, You've got these big contracts, and a lot of them are locked because no one knows who I am in Russia. I've kind of come here for for work, and some of these have requirements on them. I've, like, I need to complete Uplink before I can do data mining. Well, where's Uplink? Well, Uplink's just a, another mission, but it's... Uh, it has a requirement that I need to do. It's probably fix the road. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing seismic vibrators on this map with the oil. So, hmm. Now let's see if I can just go past this. Um, so yeah, SnowRunner, fantastic game. Really is. If, if you like that nice slow game, you just want to take it easy. Get away from high-end action games and uh, just have a relaxing game. SnowRunner's your cup, my cup of tea. I mean, I like to come in here for maybe just do one mission and then um, do it again. Come back again. And certainly as the season pass opens new areas, I, I'm role-playing it like I've got new work that I can do in a, a certain area. It is nice to explore. Some of the postcard scenes that you find in the game are breathtaking. The engine is really nice. You've got the whole mod support if you want more realism to give you more gears. You've got a whole mod structure there adding a lot more. If you want different types of graphics and stuff, you, it, the mods are all ready to rock and roll and it's got an easy way to apply them to the game. Let me show you the power of this engine going through water. All right, power to the power! <laughs> this truck, it, nothing stops this truck. I'm telling you, it's a beast. It's a beast. I had to bow when I saw this in the road here in Mexico. <laughs> I saw my in-game favorite scout car in person. Woohoo! Now, there are towns and stuff that you go into, and um, sadly there's no one living there. It would be nice to have some, if you could see some NPCs walking around, but um, I don't think the game is about that, but just to add some flavour. And um, What is it? What is it? Is it a wood place? Oh, mud's around here. Yeah, it's a sawmill, so I'm kind of like, you, you're scouting stuff out here. It, it's way better to get these things because they scout out the lands so much, and that's kind of what I'm trying to get to do. I'm going to go on this very off-road section here. Um, certainly, the difference in the country that you change when you go from Alaska that place is savage, but it's it's actually fun to do stuff, and each mission has its own challenges. Sometimes those region missions make you pull the, the most biggest stuff you've ever seen, and it's like an epic challenge to get them there, where you need to scout out the area. And I'm talking 
massive stuff you're moving. It is beautiful. Whoa! Look at this place. Ooh. Now the weather's a little bit cloudy here. Let me change the map. Um, the time of day. Night time. Morning. <laughs> now, I, I'm generally in this afternoon mode, but when you're doing missions and you're moving stuff from A to B, you're going to be going through the time zones. And when you... Because the missions are going to be quite lengthy. And... The reason I play this... Um, oh my god, look at that. That's horrible. That is horrible. I, I really wish the game had a quick save feature. So if you crashed it, you could roll it back 10 seconds and see if you can get out of it. I wish it had that feature, but it doesn't. You've really got you going back to base if that happens, peeps. Oh, you got to recover the vehicle. I mean, if you crash your, your truck, you can recover it yourself and pull it over. No, so yeah, missions, seismic ones, you're going to be scanning. Look at it, it's on like a mountain. Alright. Am I going through the wood? Am I going off piste for this? Let's have a look. Um, and as the expansions, as the season passes roll out, it's going to have new types of missions for you to do also. One of them is going to be moving lots of tree trunks and stuff like that that I've seen. And on the front cover of SnowRunner, you're moving loads of pipes and stuff. And um, it, it's effectively, you're going to get more different types of jobs to do and move stuff is kind of the fun of the game because you've got to traverse the environment. The exploration is nice and cathartic. You might be relaxing just watching me now play this. And, um, it, it, you know, this is just scouting around. Scouting around has its own beauty. When you're kind of doing missions, you've scouted the map out, so you similar to what you saw at the very beginning, you're, you're planning out where you're going with the, the stuff that you've picked up and um, all that good stuff. Okay, so... I'm going to... Oh my god, look at this road. And it really does require me to go off-road here. That is horrible hillside. Oh! <sighs> Um, do I have any problems with the game? Other than crashing, <laughs> rolling over and wish there was a replay. No, I don't. I think the game is very, very good. It's, it's a challenge to do the missions. It really is. You can get your teeth stuck into it. Alright, let's refuel from the roof rack. There we go. I, you know, it, it certainly is nice to do those missions. Once you've scouted it out, um, there's kind of it's nice to do the follow-up missions because it's like a a quest chain that you're doing, and the quest chain is very fulfilling because you're often taking goods to the same site, and then you see that site get bigger. So you're actually impacting the environment and uh, certainly when you build all the bridges and you um, 
repair all the pipes and stuff or whatever whatever they need. Let's have a look at this. Hmm. Now you can see, look, you don't need to scout everything out. It's the, what you need to scout out is these locations here. That's what you need to scout out. And um, you can see there's missions plenty everywhere. It also tells you where the upgrades are. Some upgrades might be on the very fringes of it and you, you need to scout them out, but I'm, you know, I'm like 98% complete on the other maps and that, that's because the secret's out in the shadow bits and I just can't be bothered going finding them. I've already upgraded my favourite vehicles, so um, whatever, you know. Um, these ones are kind of, the car is stuck. Whatever he's doing out there, you need to go and grab it. There, you can just see it on the map. You need to pull that out and take it somewhere. Um, that's another car that needs recovering. Let's see what else they've got in this area. Some guy's gone off the cliff here, and you've got to recover that. That's, yeah. There's bricks. That road needs a bridge. Come on. Come on, peeps. That needs a bridge. Um, what else is there? There doesn't seem to be much environmental problems here that I've seen in other areas. I guess it's the beginning Russia one. And um, on all that stuff. There are these timed events that make you race around. That's kind of interesting. And some of these events make you do it in a certain time of day as well. They're like force night time on you. So that's fairly interesting too. Um, so yeah, you might be think you might at this point think, uh, you know, I'll go and do a mission, but I, I prefer to unlock the whole map so I, I can see the, the run of it. And um, if the gray road, you know, this is the main road coming in, I've not even scouted that out though. You can see this is the better road. If, you, if you're haul, hauling cargo, that's the road you're going to be going on. It, it looks fairly clean. And um, if I go to the world map, you can see it's all locked here because I need to actually find the entry into that map location. So that is kind of what you need to do. So yeah, there's, there's a, a mass variety of map types. Um, Veron 12 here, um, kind of cargo missions, oversized things. That seems to be not too bad. This is moving fuel around, wood around, repairing stuff and pulling some, this fuel carrier, that's very big. And, um, the oil one looks like it's going to be the biggest one because, hey, you're in Russia, right? And if it's got this um, globe on it, that means it's a pickup from one area of the global map and taking it to another place. So you'd be, it's a multi-map mission and they are the meaty ones. This one, look at this. This is, this is scanning for oil. Then it, you're setting up an oil station. It looks like there's the drill, the oversized containers, so it looks like you're starting up an oil company. So interesting stuff going on here. Now, um, the quarry area, the rift and Zimmer, I've not even seen them, but um, on the Alaska, you've, you've got like the White Valley. Alaska's quite nice once you get the tires for it. It is a nice map and Michigan's really nice as well. You need to think strategically when you come to Island Lake or Drummond Island. We're getting new maps to it. The The season pass is also giving free stuff out as well with regards to the shop and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, it's kind of the slow pace. You chart out where you're going next. You know, going back on that road. Where would I be going next, peeps? I guess over to this, so. Once you see the lay of the land, it's so much easier to plan. Go through this place. If possible, and get on the main road and take the main road. Uh, 
That gets very big, though. That looks interesting what that is. I, I don't know. Usually the main road has some kind of... You can't just drive on it because it's a problem. And you've got to go and fix that problem. Again, this is a starting area, and it might not have too many problems on it. It's when you get to the other areas that you start, it starts to get very bad. And that's when you're coming in as the hero to fix the land, do all the missions, earn super good money, and um, let me just recover and go into the shop because money-wise, there's this stuff to unlock. As I, as I get more, these very expensive vehicles are going to come online and... Um, Yeah, and it's going to be worth checking these out. We've got, if I go in the off-road section. Lots not available, but yeah, these, these are the ones that are going to unlock and they'll replace my, possibly replace my BM. Just have to see how they, they play. But if you look at my, it's got an A, B, A. Power to weight, durability and fuel, stock suspension, big 47 tyres, no differential lock. If you look at these to unlock, you know, the the S, B and A, you, you'd be able to upgrade them, but that's got very small tyres, that's terrible. 47 inch tyres, 43 inch tyres, 47, so you might be able to upgrade these so they, they become better. That's stuff to look forward to, and of course you need money for all these, and um, that's kind of why you're earning, and if you buy that for 100k, then it's going to be another 100k kitting it out, I guarantee that. Just go to America, buy it, and then put it, then fly it out to Russia. You can't, when it says not available, it means you can't buy it in Russia. <laughs> you, can, you can fly it though. And um, all that good stuff. So there's, there's lots of cool vehicles, but I'm basically just using this one and my um, my BM twelve seventeen. Other trucks I've got though. I found these in the world. I did not buy these. You don't necessarily have to buy them, and um, they're horrible to drive. They really are. That thing, never even took it for a test drive. <laughs> and uh, the Dairy Longhorn, ooh, just so slow. And that's, the, you know, that's got the big engine in it. Stock suspension, so it needs to go on roads. I mean, it's just poo-poo. Just too heavy. But, I mean, it's got the weight. You sometimes need it for the weight so it can pull stuff. All right, peeps, let's go to the main menu. All right, so SnowRunner, it's like a thinking man's game, loads of different missions. It requires you to scout the lay of the land, then attempt the mission with your big trucks, fix up the whole environment, get the people back into these places, and you can role play like the hero truck driver coming in to save these people because of bad environmental winters that you're coming into so um it, it really is cool i like the fact that some of those missions like i i did one mission where i picked some guy up off the top of a mountain in alaska and he was working for the radio and he's on he then basically said i'll be telling everyone that oh, you saved me and my, my reputation shot up in alaska after saving that guy and uh, so there's bits of theme like that now due to the nature of the game you it's ripe for playing it whilst listening to a podcast or listening to your own music because you're going to be driving for maybe 45 minutes with certain gear and um, so it is, it's a nice to multitask game as well. It's an escape game, isn't it? You come here for a bit of fun driving. The scouts, scouting can have its own nightmare. As you saw, it was pretty nervous for me to drive that 
Um, missions though can be also hairy, but mainly the, the kind of easy. And you're just kind of driving them and it's nice to do. Well, you know you're not going to have a problem and just take it in, earn the money and continue upgrading all that good stuff. So I highly recommend SnowRunner. It is just a really good game. Play it on your Xbox controller or any controller that you've got. I've not played it on keys. I prefer driving on a controller. And you're all good. You're all good. It is one hell of an experience and I'm rip I can't wait to really explore Russia out and um, of course see what Canada's like and the whole season pass is an enigma in itself to see what will be coming um, also. Especially that number four on the season pass right at the end what they're just calling the expansion. Ooh, so exciting. So yeah, an enigma of content coming forward. So on that bombshell, you've been listening to PC Gamer Radio. Um, I'm your host, Lipstick Patty. You take care, stay safe, and bye-bye for now. Well, thanks for watching. And if you remember, you can please subscribe and like the video. And don't remember, you can also hit the bell for notices on the channel. Yeah, we've also got a Twitter you can see on our banner, so check that out too. So take care and bye-bye.